Sorry about that, I just got interrupted. Um, so, okay, so I think e4 would have been better for black. Um, um, I, I don't just don't think this knight b8 is um, any good, and I suspect Botvinnik wanted to punish Portis for this, um, which is why he probably spent a quite a bit of time. I would say he spent quite a bit of time thinking about rook takes c7, which he's been invited to play. Now, it's pretty much obvious that um, if uh, black takes on c7, uh, he's going to be he's gonna be faced with bishop c6. And Botvinnik would have had to calculate this out. Of course, of course Portish saw um, rook takes c7. And he probably thought that bishop c6 um, was, he probably thought it was like bad, but he wanted to see the refutation, I think. I mean, bishop c6, and then it's like, well, what's black, what, what's white going to do? And I mean, see if you can spot the tactic here. Um... I mean, the key here is that um, that white bishop is so powerful in, as a defender. I mean, it, 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 it's uh, providing support for these squares here all around this e-pawn. F7, which is weak, it only has the king defending it, and B7 too. And uh, this, this bishop here has every possibility of becoming a monster. So, in this position, actually, there's one great move, but, um, and see if you can spot it. Botvinnik played, rook takes c6. And now you can see how weak those white squares are all over the board for black. Um, he could have actually even taken with the other rook. Um, not as good, but I think the principle is the same, that that bishop is so good for black, and um, trading trading it is, 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 is a fantastic plan. Now, pawn takes rook, otherwise the, the b7 pawn goes. But that knight looks in, is looking pretty sad. Um, it's looking pretty undeveloped. That bishop is back where it started as well, on f8. And now I'll see if you can spot Botvinnik's follow-up. And it's all got to do with the weakness in the white squares. So, Botvinnik played rook takes f7. And now, if black takes, he basically just gets mated. So, takes queen c4. King's not going back home to g8. King g6, queen g4, king f7, the knight pops in with tempo, and if king back, queen c4, and black's basically getting mated. Um, king h8, knight take, knight in, king there, and this is a common mating pattern and black gets made in the next move. So, couldn't play that. He couldn't take the rook. Uh, instead he played a6 to give his king some breathing space. Rook came back. Um, queen c8, I tend to think that this is a bit of desperation here. Hitting the rook. Um, the, the rook um, hasn't got a, a space now along that that seventh rank, but white's got this uh, check. And what's black going to do? If the queen interposes, then we just get knight takes e5. And uh, this is this is great. I mean, 
C6 pawns arm. Um, this this uh, diagonal, the bishop isn't freed up on this diagonal, so let's just go back. Um, should play king h8. And now knight h4. Black took the rook. I mean, this check's just going to be a killer down here on g6. Um, you know, um, you wonder whether in this position he should have just played queen e6 just to stop that that check. Um, um, but um, and after that, after perhaps um, the queen e6, uh, queen e4, uh, that check's coming anyway. Uh, which is pretty devastating, but um, the move that he did play, queen takes rook, um, is pretty just, just gets busted by knight coming in. The knight coming in, king h7, and now, um, wow, bishop b4. Look at those bishops, and the the rest of the game is is um, just carnage. Bishop d6, knight. Takes an e5 check, discovered check. Um, if uh, the king goes back to h8, then um, knight f7 and knight takes d6 is, is, is brutal. So g6, bishop takes, king g7, um, and I think Portish resigned here. Um, what follows is uh, bishop takes h6, exclamation mark, exclam, rook, uh, sorry, king takes bishop, then queen check, king moves back, queen up, and um, black's losing the queen. So king up, knight check, just getting the knight out of the way before um takes the queen. There we go. And... Uh, that would have been the end of the game. I mean, if black isn't getting mated, uh, he's going to lose to um, these uh, white pawns rolling up the board. I mean, this is just, it's just clearly one here at this point. Um, the two rooks are on. Um, and um, yeah, great game by Botvinnik. Um, really punishing knight to b8. Um, so, you know, one. Um, one bad move and it really was all over and uh, a great lesson uh, about the um, weakness of the light squares uh, when um, when playing the dragon type uh, dragon type setup so I hope you enjoyed the game I um, hope you got something out of it like I did and um, I'll see you next time